let's see how to enter openings in sections and plates in Cybe Connect. Starting from a previously created node, we select it in the table on the left-hand side of the interface and edit the connection by clicking on the corresponding button at the top. In the connection pop-up window in the model tab, we must specify the operations needed to define the connection. In this example, an end plate has been added to connect the beam and the column. A plate has also been entered at the top of the column. Then its geometry has been adjusted. Now we are going to enter openings into the beam to simulate that the web is lightened. To do this, we click on the opening option in the top toolbar. First, we select the element where the opening is located, either a section or a plate. In this case, it is section B1. In the next drop-down menu, we indicate whether the opening is arranged in the top flange, the bottom flange, or the web of the section. Here, we choose the web. The type of opening can be either polygonal or circular. In this example, the opening is a hexagonal shape, so we select polygonal. Next, in the table that appears, we define the geometry of the opening. We click on Add several times and enter the X and Y coordinates of the vertices that form the polygon of the opening. The polygon can have straight or curved segments. In the Type column, we indicate whether it is a straight segment or a curved segment, in which case we must define the coordinates of the centre of the curve, XC and YC. To make it easier to enter this data, the program displays a help image when clicking on the corresponding button at the top of the table. By right-clicking on the cells, we find added features such as paste from the clipboard, which allows us to enter data quickly if they have been defined in a spreadsheet and we have previously copied them. Now let's enter a second opening on the beam. We start by creating a copy of the previous operation after selecting it in the table on the left and clicking on the copy button at the top. Then, while keeping the rest of the data, we enter the coordinates of the new opening to put it in place. Again, we can type the values directly into the cells or paste them from the clipboard. We finish by entering an opening in other elements, such as the plates. We click on the opening option again. This time, in the elements section, we choose plate 1 in the corresponding drop-down menu. Further on, under Type, we select Circular. To position a circular opening, we must enter the X and Y coordinates of the centre of the opening with respect to the local coordinate centre of the element. Finally, we type in the diameter of the opening. In the viewer on the right, we can see the result of the operations. From here, once the model is finished, we can continue our work by opening the Analysis tab in order to carry out the analysis of the connection.